Hello guys, another problem now, moment, 3D. Determine the moment of this force about the point A. In 3D, don't even think about it. Moment is gonna be R cross F. In other words, we need to find the force, it's Cartesian, and we know the magnitude of the force, but we also have the possibility of finding coordinates of the point. That is telling you immediately what you have to do is find the position vector, BC, and then find the unit vector BC, which is the same unit vector for the force. Multiply that by the magnitude of the force, and then you will have the force in Cartesian. So the first part is easy to get. Now the second part is R. What is R? R is the distance or the vector from the point that we want to calculate the moment to any point in the line of action of the force, meaning this is R point where, where we want to calculate the moment for point in the line of action of the force but these can be also r as well so let's call this r a b and let's call this r a c and the result should be the same exactly the same because the moment shouldn't change the moment is a physical quantity happening there and that shouldn't change because of the way we calculate it. You know, you could say also, you could feel tempted to say, oh, but this distance is bigger than that one. Yeah, but we're using cross product. And the only at the end, the only, the only, the only, the only distance that we care about is the perpendicular distance between the point and the line of action of the force. And that is achieved by this. So let's start by doing the position vector, BC. So let's call it RBC. And then the coordinates of the point C, 6, 6, 0. And the coordinates of the point B will be uh, this distance from here to here is 4, and this angle is 45 degrees. So in X, it will be 4 cosine 45. Uh, let me put the coordinates of B first. 4 cosine 45 in X, in Y is zero because it's over the X and Z plane, and in Z will be four sine 45. That's it. So now we can calculate BC, coordinates of C minus coordinates of B, meaning six minus four cosine 45. That's the first value, 3.171. Six i. Perfect. Now six minus zero, six, and zero minus that. Is two point eighty two eighty four. Okay. That's the position vector BC. But now we have to divide the position vector BC by the magnitude of the position vector BC, which is just square root of this square plus this square plus this square. So let's do that. This square plus 36, which is this, plus 3.1716 square. And I take the square root of that, elevate it to the 0.5, and then I get 7. Point. I'm just going to put that number here, the magnitude, 352, in case I need it later on. And then what else to do? This is a unit vector in the direction of BC, which is the same unit vector of the force. So the only thing that I need to do in order to calculate the force is multiply that unit vector by... 600. So the force will be equal to that multiplied by 600, which is the magnitude of the force. That's basically what it is. So my force will be then 3.1716 
value that I got before. Multiply by 600 to convert it into fours. That will be 258.82i. Now the next one will be 6 divided by the magnitude. So it's a good thing that I save in there. Multiply by 600. That will be 489.66j. And then we have this one, 2.8. 284 divided by 7.352 multiplied by 600 and that will be negative 230.83 newtons. That will be the value of the force. Good. Nice. Now we need the position vector. We have the coordinates of this point. We need the coordinates of the point A as well. And the coordinates of the point A will be 0, 0, 004. So the position vector BA, AB, I'm sorry, from the point to the line of action of the force, position vector AB will be this value minus zero, 2.8284i. Zero minus zero is zero. And this is 2.8284 as well, minus 4. 2.8284 minus 4. Because remember, this value here is 2.8284 as well as this one. Minus 4 is negative 1.17. 1 1.17. 1 1.1716k. This is the arm AB. And just because I said, just because I could use these two and that's it, but I want to demonstrate that it's the same if you use this arm or if you use this arm. So let's just for the sake of doing this twice and compare, let's calculate the unit vector AC, even though the position vector AC or the arm AC, even though you don't need it, it would be 6 minus 6, 6 minus 0, 6 minus 0, 0 minus 4. So it would be 6i plus 6a minus 4k. That would be the position vector AC. Now, the moment is R cross F. So let's try first with the first R. And let's put here IJK. Let's put the first R 2.82840, negative 1.1716, and the force. Always first R, and then the force. Always. Otherwise, you're going to have it flipped. It's going to be basically uh, opposite to whatever we got there. So this value here will be 258.82, 489.66, minus 230.83. But also, also, instead of using this, I could use the other one. And then that will be IJK. And the result should be the same. I'm just doing this twice, remember. You don't have to. First the arm, AC, and then the force. I'm using this arm here, and I'm using this arm here. Just to demonstrate that if I use this arm or this arm, it should be the same. Force is the same. That's it. And then we are going to do the cross product. If you want to do it by hand, remember it's I that multiplies this times this minus this times this minus J that multiplies this times this minus this times this plus K that multiplies this times this minus this times that. But I'm going to use the, the tools that we have in the calculator for vector here, vector. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the vector name U. Uh, it's going to be 3 because it's dimension 3. And then we're going to put the values 2.8284. That's the first coordinate, 0. That's the second component, I should say, minus 1.1716. 1 
now we have that vector perfect that vector is done now we're gonna go vector again and we're gonna edit the second vector which is gonna be our force vector dimension 3 as well and this is gonna be 258.82 489.66 and negative 230.83 remember you have to use this negative this one here in the calculator don't put them the, the negative sign, this minus, because if you use this minus, it's going to get the previous value that you had and subtract it from there. And be always sure that you check these values here. Now we are done with that. Now we can go to vector again, vector, and then we're going to apply math to that. And the math that we are going to apply is a cross product. Cross product of what? The first vector, we go vector again vector 1 comma and then we go vector again and we put the vector 2 the second vector which is that close parenthesis and then we get our value and we get the moment of the force uh, will be the first component 573.69 I the second component 349.64 and the third component 1384 not 1384 I need a new pair of glasses 0.95 and that will be and what units Newton meters. Now, that will be the answer, but I'm going to use this one just to check that what I was saying is correct. So let's go back to vectors and let's, let's use the first vector. I'm going to change it. I'm going to edit the first vector. It's a dimension 3 as well. And now we have 6, the second value is 6, and the third value is negative 4. And, and then we do R cross F. F is the same, I didn't change the second vector, so let's use vector and let's do math, let's do cross product of the first one, vector 1, comma, vector but vector 1 now is this one, remember. Vector 2, parenthesis, and we got exactly the same values that we got before here, you see? 390, I'm looking for the reflection here, the best for you. There you go. 573.7, 349.7, and 138.4. 1384 or 1385, 1384.95. So there you go. Two ways of doing the same problem. And remember, it's always the distance from the point that we want to calculate the moment to any point in the line of action of the force. If I had this point, for saying something, and I wanted to do this, and I had this point, and it would be easier for me, for example that will give you the same result as this or as that because it's only the perpendicularity that is important there thank you for watching guys keep learning see you next time